Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Taurus. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Taurus. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note with any donation you give, if you choose so, you can ask me a question in the comments section, and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. All right, before starting the video, I screwed the pink gem for you. And what showed up was very interesting, very detailed, and may not resonate with everyone, so take what does. What showed up was two females. Uh, the two females that showed up in there was, uh, one was more lavishly dressed, kind of, uh, they were both wearing Victorian-style clothing. Both had dark hair, and one had, um, was more lavishly dressed to the right. She was wearing, like, a long white gown and had matching hat and she had her hand like she was pushing away the other one and like she was holding it out i don't know how to explain it and she was also holding her you know her hand in this way that was somewhat i don't know how to explain it other than like kind of um like a demeaning way and then she was looking up so there's like a lot of arrogance haughtiness coming from this individual and the woman who was uh, to the left of her was dressed in Victorian clothing, not as lavish. Um, and i picking up this energy where this person was like trying to like belittle her. Now behind her, behind both of them was a man on a chariot. So that represents change. So there could be someone within your life that is trying to demean you, trying to make you feel uh, less than someone that's very worldly. And trying to like put on airs. So take it how it resonates of who this person is. This could be uh, a neighbor. This could be a co-worker. This could be a family member. A friend. You know take it how it resonates. It will apply differently to everyone. Now the first card to come out for you today is the Ten of Candles. And it says Jeremiah's Burden. And it reads as follows. It says why did I ever come out of the womb to see trouble and sorrow to the end of my days is in shame. So this is representing a lot of burdens and, you know, questioning why, you know, the, why the birth, you know, why was he here? And we all have days like that. So this person is representing the 10 of candles, which is equivalent to the 10 of wands, which is burdens. So you could be overwhelmed. You could feel stressed. You could feel like everything is an uphill battle. And with the 10 of candles, according to the biblical tarot, represents prophetic mission, unwelcome messages, intense opposition, emotional burden perseverance despite hardship so regardless of whatever hardships you are going through jesus is going to give you the strength to endure it and overcome it now if the video clicks off i will make the second half next card out for you is casket and it says someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation so you could be dealing with the death of a situation a death of a person possibly and if so my condolences or this could be the uh, ending of a relationship with a person could be that person that showed up, the one that is arrogant. Next card out for you is V, victory and some adverse. So you're going to be overcoming whatever obstacles are in your way. Next card out for you is lightning. And it's saying control your anger or you'll be sorry. So try not to get into a confrontation with this individual. It's best just to control your temper, you know, even if they're pushing your buttons. And that was clarified by the feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. So this person could be, you know, kind of wishy-washy. Not someone you can rely on, and it's letting you know don't snap on that person because of it, because it's not worth your anger. Next card out for you is the Bible verse. So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. So that's a very beautiful message to come out for you as well. Next card out for you is butterflies and gloom. After sadness, happiness, and hope return. So you will have happiness again. It will be restored to you like the butterfly in that transition of the cocoon, the death, and the rebirth. We will get into the rest of the cards in the second half of the reading. 